So after you import uh, tables uh, into the repository under the physical layer, uh, will be th these are just uh, these are not actual data. These are metadata. Uh, metadata in the sense uh, this contains only the information what is the table what is the column and what is the data type that is present but it doesn't contain any data <coughs> so basically whatever you see here is nothing but your metadata so <coughs> let's talk about these properties so the first icon which is showing here uh, is the database icon database object we'll call in another way database object this is a connection pool object this is the schema object physical schema object these are the tables T table object these are the columns and uh, keys will be represented with the key symbol so now if you see these are the uh, this is the tables and keys which we have imported by using the import functionality in uh, OBIE under physical layer. So you can see this symbol, right? So if you just click on this symbol, so you can see a diagram uh, without giving any columns. And if you see this symbol, just click on that symbol so that it will get aligned. So what, why I'm showing these features is, uh, let's say if you have a star model with uh, some uh, 10, 10 dimension tables with only one fact wherein you want to see the entire diagram, it will be difficult for you uh, if, it, if it's in this way. So and you cannot see the relationship and the uh, a view is not enough to show all the 100 tables. So you can use this functionality, click on the minimize button, uh, collapse all button and then click on the auto layout so that you can see the diagram in a most efficient way and you can use the zoom in zoom out just to see if it's more than uh, sufficient it's more than uh, some columns so you will not be able to see so you can use the zoom in uh, zoom out fun functionality uh, this uh, diagram will be used to print your physical diagram into your documentation so we have covered uh, Senate connection pool properties examining physical layer objects and printing physical layer so now we'll go with the alias concept in the next tutorial